It's a fish. Get it. Get it. He's swimming. Grab it. Yeah, he's swimming with it. Reel down real quick. You there? Yeah. All right. Figured I'd let Clinton have the first fish today. We're just out here fishing the big river. This might be a decent fish. This is a hole that me and Ty found a long time ago and figured I'd try to find it again and it's produced a fish. Cool. Glad we have one before uh, it gets too dark. I do have filming lights on the boat now. So we're going to continue even in the dark. Man, that's, that looks like a big fish. It could be the current. We do have a lot of current. Whoa. Nice, it's a flathead. Yeah, it's a good one. That's like, that's how I like to start today. wanting to catch a flathead on this outside one. <laughs> Whoa. Come here. <laughs> yeah. one too. <laughs> Good start to the day. Nice flathead catfish. He ate the bait too. No bait left. Got mud on him. This guy's been laying on the bottom. I'm going to take a picture of Clinton holding this fish and then we're going to release it. Let him go, let him grow. Oh, we got another one. <laughs> go get it. You can have that one too. No, you can have it. Bring them in. I've been catching all the big ones and you've been sitting, so it's time for you to catch a big one. awesome the spot is producing it's basically that's down river obviously and we've got we're kind of I guess on a shelf it's really rough in this area and it drops down like really dramatic back in there and then it just comes up and it's like rocky further on back there and uh, when me and Ty were here we saw fish in there but we were uh, bumping and getting snagged so we never got to fish it properly and this might have been a year ago. What is it? A blue. Awesome. Now we just need a channel and we get a trip going. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> ah, now my boat is all messed up. <laughs> Get that hook 
now if you cast her. Whoa, jeez. We're gonna have to get the water hose out. Nice little blue. Awesome. Oh. <laughs> you wanna let this one go or you want me to? Go ahead. All right, he's gonna let me let this one go. I'm just gonna toss it out there since he is pooping all over everywhere. <laughs> oh, we're getting another bite. We're not going to be able to get our other two rods out. <laughs> oh, here we go. I think I just crossed lines. Pulled this one in and recast it. some of the stuff off the deck. Thankfully, sea arcs come with a hose so we can clean all this off of the boat. You want it or? I guess I turned the lights on. I don't know if my new lights are helping right now, but they should help after dark. I'm really happy we caught a fish at our first spot tonight. We saw Catfish Dave at the launch too. He's actually staying down river near where we launched. We've run pretty far up river to try this spot out. Hopefully he won't run out of gas because he was running low on gas. I told him to send me a message if he ran out of gas, I'd tow him back to the ramp. But where he was going is so close to the ramp, he probably won't need it. I really think there's something there. It's got to be tiny. And it could just be the current doing it. I think it's just the current. It may have picked up a little bit. They do change out how many turbines they're running, which makes the current increase and decrease here. We'll see what happens. What? Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Maybe I'll get a reel in a fish today. <laughs> this current makes smaller fish feel big. I think I said uh, earlier that we're fishing the big river. 
I know some of you probably wouldn't consider this the big river, but around here it is the big river. I might even make the title of this video something to do with big river catfishing or catching catfish on the big river. I really like catching fish on the battle cat. These are all Akuma battle cats. Little blue. Small enough to boat flip. Little bitty Tennessee blue. You can tell. Whoa! Ow! <laughs> He's biting down on me. You can tell that it's a blue because the anal fin is like a razor blade. And of course, they got the bluish coloration on them. Nice little fish. This guy would make a good sandwich, but we're going to. Let him go, let him grow up. Future 100 pounder right there. We're doing pretty good at this spot. Oh, hey. Yeah, that little guy ate a piece this big or bigger. I think the reason we catch the little ones, even with these big baits, is because we're barely hooking the bait. This is what like Joe with Cat Cats Fishing does. And I think Steve Douglas, the catfish dude, does it too. And I'm quite sure Catfish Dave does it. Catfish Dave uses giant hooks on his baits so he can, you know, put more of the hook into the bait. But we're using ADOT Team Catfish Double Action Circle Hooks. So we gotta have as much of the hook exposed as possible. Like that. Another thing I need to put on my to-do list is get bigger sinkers. These sinkers are almost too light for this current that's going on, and this is not full blast. I need to get some 8-ounce river sinkers, and I need to get some 10-ounce river sinkers. I think 8-ounce would be perfect for this current right now. They don't have the dam spilling or anything. When the dam is spilling, we would need 10-ounce weights. It would definitely help spread out the rods a little bit because right now they're pretty much all straight out the back of the boat. Maybe next time. Still there? Oh, well, we just missed the fish. We've moved to another spot. This is a current seam and the current is really strong. It's working my trolling motor really good. The other spot seemed to turn off right as it got dark. We sat there, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes and no bites, no fish. I really don't like spending more than 30 to 45 minutes at any spot. So we're going to try this one for a little while and then we're going to continue going down the river. Maybe we're running the Catfish Dave. This spot, we definitely need heavy, heavy sinkers and we just don't have any. I'm probably gonna spend less than 45 minutes at this spot just because it's really working the trolling motor. If we happen to get a big fish, I might break out the anchor just so I can fish this spot. We'll see what happens. We might be in the next spot in the next second. Still there? Oh, what? <laughs> okay. We've been sitting here quite a while. And finally got a fish on. Feels like there's something there we've moved to another spot and I think there's a tree in the water here 
that we've set up in front of the tree trying to pull something out of it. And I looked at the current data the, through the TVA app and they have upped the current pretty big or at least by a lot. I don't know how big this fish is, but he's fighting pretty good. But man, we had to wait a while to get this fish. We actually went through almost a whole GoPro battery just waiting. Dave passing us up right now too. What do you say? He got us all blue and a couple drivers. Oh nice. This guy was barely hooked. I don't know, the flathead might have been a little bit bigger. I have to look at the video footage to see. What do you guys think? Is this fish bigger than the flathead we caught earlier? Maybe I'll do a Dieter Melhorn. Hold it up towards the camera, make it look bigger. Nice little blue here. This is why we're out here. Maybe this can be the thumbnail. All right, I'm just gonna let this guy go real quick. Whew. When Catfish Dave passed us up, he said he caught some fish too. Everybody's been catching fish tonight. I guess we get to see in his future video if he caught a bigger fish than we did tonight. But it's still great to be catching fish uh, we're going to decide here if we're going to go to another spot or go to the ramp. It is kind of getting chilly out now. We've got a cold front that's gone through and it was like, I don't know, 80 degrees out and now it's like 60 degrees and tonight it's dropping to 40 or even lower. So the temperature is actually dropping pretty quick. I'm just really happy that we're catching fish after a cold front. All right, it is getting cold really quick. So we decided to go ahead and head back to the ramp and pull out of the water. It's been a really good night, even though it's freezing cold. We are definitely going to try out this section of the river another time, maybe when it warms up. There's some barges that I want to try for flatheads at when the water starts warming up a little bit more. But overall, it's been a good night. And I want to thank you guys for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. And what I'd like to know in the comments below, what do you think about my new lighting system? Does it look better than what I was using before? I do have one more thing I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna to try to move the camera more to the center of the boat. So just leave a comment of what you think about this new lighting. Thank you again for watching.